we are UH. I'm your ghostest with the mostest hostess, J Maniac. And with us, as always, is Beck Maniac. You know, I just wanted to tell you about. Ah, oh, shit. I got it. UH, what do you fucking want? Where's my brother? What the fuck are you talking about, man? We're reading the script. <laughs> oh. <laughs> y- yeah. Okay. What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Just in the middle of the show, what's going on? Not too much. A bit of a favor to ask. Yeah? I'm coming to crash at your place for a bit. Uh, sure. Do you have hitmen coming after you or what? Relax. I'm stopping over, but first you have to come get me. What do you mean I have to come and get you? You're you're coming here, right? Yeah, just come down and get me, you Mama Luke. All right. Fine. Okay, if you say so. Hurry up. I'll send you a car and it's got a mini bar. Okay, now you're talking. I'll be ready in 10. All right, bye. Bye. Beck, I gotta go get the flaming monkey. Who's that? That's my brother. I'm bringing him here. He's gonna crash tonight. But we just started the show. Yeah, I know. We'll get to it at some point. All right, be safe. See you later. On tray. I'm here, motherfucker. One second. Let me finish my count real quick. Why don't you head on down to the bar and get yourself a drink? All right, if I must. Welcome to the Wang Dong. What can I get you, sweetie? I, uh, I'd like the handlebar mustache and your Marlon Brando Wild One attire. Well, I like your ass. Cool, thanks. I'll take a Rheingold draft, please. Whose bell is that? Did you pay admission? Did somebody say Rheingold? I'm Dorothy Tailgunner, 2021, from Colon, Michigan. My beer, Rheingold beer, is the queerest beer of the year. It's not bitter, it's not sweet, but it's wet and nasty, bitch. Hey, wait. I thought it was the dry beer. It's hard and wet and will make your dipstick sweat. It's Rhine Gold Beer. Oh, good to know. Um, hey, bartender, thanks for the drink. I think I'll take a look around now. I'll be here if you need a shot of penicillin in your ass. Oh, boy. Whoa, I've never seen such debauchery. I'm gonna have to go to confession for a year. Let's see what's behind this door. I guess it's gonna be two years confession. I'm just gonna leave now. I, I think I'm done with rooms. Hey, buddy. Hold the door just a sec. Let me get out of here, will ya? Oh my god, is that a giant sexually transmitted crab? Uh, yeah, go ahead. You can crawl through. Hey, thanks, buddy. My name's Shrimperton Krabinski. Hey, Shrimperton Krabinski the crab. Uh, what are you fucking doing here? Oh, you know, there's a lot of fluids in there, and it's uh, basically a petri dish of STDs. It was bound to happen. I've evolved like the Ninja Turtles. Hey, what do you got going on tonight? Any parties I could tag along with? Get into some trouble? You see, I'm looking for a little bit of, uh, dinner action. I basically sucked everyone dry in that room. I think I'm a little too tame for you, bro. Bro, you ready to go? Hey, what's up, Krabinski? What's cracker lacking? Oh, you know, it could be better. Jay, come to the office. I gotta show you something. All right. Hey, see you later, Shrimperton Krabinski. Dude, shit is swirling around here like Insidious is. What do you mean? I was moving stock around and things went crazy. I was picking up that bottle when... This bottle? Don't touch it. Too late. I was just admiring the vintage bottle collection you got going on here. Oh, shit. The fuck in here is like being at a rave. Mecca like a high, Mecca honey ho. Wow, it's a genie. I, I, I guess I get some wishes, right? <sighs> it doesn't work like that. What do you mean? Give me some wishes, you bastard, you. I don't think he's that kind of genie. I'm a demonic genie. Ever hear of the djinn? It's a silent D like Django, right? Well, you're fucked. I'll see you later. Ooh. I was trying to tell you, why do you think I need to come stay with you? All right. I'm trying to get an army of priests over here. I'm haunted as fuck because of that genie. All I can really say is, smoke them while we got them.
Hey, bro, might as well uh, have a seat and join the show. Welcome, Flamin' Monkey! First, let's do a quick cheers, everybody. I don't know if we wrote that in the script, but we didn't. I think we need a cheer. I don't think we did. No. So let's uh, raise our glasses and do a Nathrovia! Chindand. Cheers! <clears throat> okay, I got a question for you. Actually, it's for my brother. What was your mm. bedroom like growing up, and uh, how was I as a brother? A pigsty, and you were copacetic with it. That's all you got? <laughs> <laughs> well, you remember we lived in uh, above, and uh, we had a, uh, what are you, bunk beds. We sh- Which were the hardest fucking bunk beds known to man. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was like had, sleeping on a crate. Yeah, they weren't the best. Uh, so at least they were made in the USA back then, not in China. <laughs> Probably right. would have had spikes on them back then. Right. Well... You were a little bit of a pain in the ass because you always thought your appendix was going to explode every night. That's what? true. <laughs> yeah. What? I just so, don't know this. So mom mom had to, uh, I don't know, coddle you to bed. Coddle me to bed. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, kind of reassure you to bed that your appendix ain't going to explode. Wait, why did you think your appendix was going to explode? <laughs> I know nothing of this. I need to know. Because <laughs> that, that area kept hurting. We went to the fucking doctor and the doctor was like, dude, you're just go home. You're all right. And uh, was yeah. it a stomach ache? No, it was in that same area. And what happened is my friend Jamie, his brother, his appendix almost exploded, would have killed him. So you would go into FM's room because no, of no, your... we were in the same room. Yeah. Oh, we, were, okay. we had bunk beds, and he was the top bunk, I was the bottom, which was about four by four room. Okay. Yeah, very small. Yeah. Yeah, very small. So some nights he would make up stories as uh, role playing games. Oh, it was, it was like a choose your own adventure. Mm-hmm. Yep, and, and it, we'd have our cousins and people we knew, and you know, you're going down here, and then I'd eventually fall asleep, and then uh, one day I wake up with my hand full of puke. Yeah, uh, he had leaned over to the side of his top bunk, and my hand was like flopped open like a cup. You know, oh, like boy. a cup. <laughs> and it, I wake up and it's full of puke. <laughs> <laughs> my hand smelled for a week Ew. yeah i swear to god i couldn't get rid of that puke smell do you know oh. i was laughing when i was puking because i knew yeah. it was hitting your hand i forgot to mention that too at like you know he's laughing at his like uh seven-year-old brother that he puked in his hand while he's laughing and then mommy's coddling him you know his hand shook and then just slowly retracted out of frame <laughs> <laughs> But how was I as a brother besides puking on you? I mean, when we were younger, we were close. But then when you became a teenager, devil spawned asshole came out of you. So I think that's uh, normal. A, a, a little bit, a little bit more sadistic with the help of traces the death and faces the death. Oh, do you yeah. remember me scaring you with masks? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. scare me up, hold me down, <laughs> pretend you're going to spit on me. Yep. Slap me upside my head. Yep. Typical wow, 80s brother shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's like it's like Ralphie and uh and Randy. Yeah, Ralphie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <clears throat> and when I got knocked down on the street because mom put too much uh you know coats on me, Jay would just continue walking. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but the the question is is how was your room as a teenager? Oh, horrible. It was a pigsty. There was like a a, a walkway from the door to my bed. That was it. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard about the debauchery from your brother a little bit, and but, I've heard that you fogged I, I, up the room with a fog machine. There'd be all sorts of stuff going on. Oh, yeah. I didn't have couches because everybody would come over to my house. Everybody had like divorced parents and shit, broken homes. Yeah, we, we were, were the only there. ones that had parents together. So everybody would come over to my place because I met um I met he- uh, and I, I said, Hey, you want to smoke some weed? And we were friends ever since. So he'd come over every day after school and we'd smoke weed and watch movies. And then came over and then other people came over. Eventually I had couches. I didn't even have a bed. Oh, and then, Wa- uh, watching I didn't movies have a bed for years, you <clears throat> just pretty getting much... high watching movies. Yeah. That's all. Just... You, you mean watching dazed and confused and aliens over and over again. And oh, Alex. I wore dazed and confused out. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I wore that. I wore that DVD out. I mean that not the DVD, VHS. VHS. Yeah. It's, it was on unwatchable my, at one point. On my Daewoo TV. <laughs> oh, Daewoo? Yeah. D A A W O O. Daewoo. <laughs> the brand of champions, huh? Hey, it was a good TV, man. That fucker took a killing. You could throw water at it. I think we shot it with BBs. We did everything but explode it. What? And uh, it, it kept going. Let's talk about your carpet. What was going on with your carpet in there? Oh, a lot of people puked on it. Bong water. Yeah. Oh, it was like yeah. tie dye colored from it. 
Uh, it was a different color. Let's just put it that way. Oh. I, I feel sorry for the people that moved in there. They probably had to call hazmat. Oh. Yeah. I mean, uh, you got to figure like you didn't clean it. We just pods. So, it, and we just had traffic. That was it. It was the uh, creature from the Black Lagoon's favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> It was an off shade of gray green or something. Oh. It's what Wolfman put over his nards in Monster Squad to yeah. cover him up. That color. <laughs> like, yeah, it was bad. Our dad would come in and he wouldn't know who was in the room because he, FM here, had a fucking industrial sized uh, fog machine. Fog machine. And it got so foggy in there that you, if you held your hand in front of your face, you, you wouldn't be able to see. see. Yeah. And he'd flip out. What the fuck? He wouldn't care about the pot. Wouldn't no. care about the blow. Wouldn't care about anything else but the fog machine. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good Lord. That pissed him off. It, there'd be lights going off. So it was like you were in purgatory. And then you'd hear like, <laughs> My name is Mud. Dig, 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 dig. <laughs> you know, fucking Primus <laughs> off, and shit. Off Snow, Offspring, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Separated. Al- yeah, I had I had both Bone Thugs and Harmony CDs. Them fuckers, they were good. They um, were good. But uh, also uh, Offspring. Yeah, I remember uh, Al- that. Alice in Chains. Yeah, I was more of an Alice in Chains person, and Ted was a uh, Nirvana. So, oh, was he? Okay. Well, he, he was more he was more down and dreary. Like I thought he was the one that was going to shoot his head off, or he he was that that type of friend. Dude. Melancholy and the sadness. He was like oh, a it, pumpkins. Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, he he cried when when uh, when he when, died. When he died, yeah. What uh, what was special about your bong? Why don't you talk about the bong that was in that room that took the four the four foot bong? No, it was bigger than four foot. We had to no, stand was... on the bed, didn't we? Yeah, that was four foot. Didn't yeah, but... four feet's pretty tall. I mean, that's pretty big. Yeah. What? what, what ha- how did that come about? That bong. Oh, we had plastic ones. Yeah. So we didn't have glass. You know, you're poor teenagers. So I didn't like buying expensive like smoking tools. Like why? So I'd rather just buy weed and smoke it. We had bongs, and we it was like a Franken bong. We yeah. Just... <laughs> One long tube, it just culminated into one. One would break, we'd add it on. Another would break, we'd add it on. And you had a four-foot bong. And I remember our cousin who puked several times. One time we were, <laughs> one time it was me and him, and I light, like somebody had to light it for you. There was no fucking way. And you got to imagine four feet of smoke. There's no fucking way. Like you're going to hack your brains out. Right. So he packs us. We, he, the whole tube is full. I'm like, there's no, and I knew like you knew something was going to happen. There's no, a laugh was coming. That was it. So he did it and he just holds the bong away and out comes like this sloppy Joe mess from his mouth. And I'm like, dude, you're cleaning it up. I am not touching that puke, man. Like, <laughs> he, he was the only one that puked from it. Three he was. Times, three or four times. Yeah. He'd he always was. puke. And yeah. always just move the bong away and flop on my floor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And what was great, it was one, it was in one breath. So he'd be like, ooh, <laughs> and then just start puking. Yeah, and then oh. after, he, after he blew out the smoke, he'd sit there and just drool, like with his mouth open. And <laughs> mm. I'm getting total visuals here of this. R-U-H. And then there was one time, his girlfriend. Oh, boy. It. Yeah, so I got me and a couple of friends in my room girlfriend comes in uh, they, they were playing pull? cards in the in the kitchen uh no i don't know i think you guys were in your room but i don't remember but so she comes in she, i never really smoked weed bob i'm like girl just take a hit life's too fucking short come on what the fuck's your problem nobody gives a shit so she took a hit and she starts like crawling on the floor like a cat meowing oh see back yeah, yeah. <laughs> see why i didn't continue dating her oh I, okay yeah <laughs> Oh, you were dating her at that Noah p- was. I went out with her for about two weeks. She's the kind of chick I would go for, right? Big boobs and shit big like that. Big These were tits, thin waist, big ass. Uh, one time I was driving with her on, on, going on a date. We we're going to like Carmelo's or some shit. And she just kept hissing and meowing and clawing at the window <laughs> when I was driving. And I went, uh-oh, I'm not. Yeah, this is done. So the so. bong hit turned her full, full breed Siamese or what? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just sitting there, like, staring, like, uh, what the fuck is this? Are we, like, tripping balls? Or am I, like, seeing this? I know I just only smoke weed, but what's going on? Beck, can you imagine never smoking weed and then smoking a four-foot bong? No, and I'm still trying to figure out how the hell you guys, would you duct tape it all together? Yeah, we or? taped it all together. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> just one on top of the other, hold it, somebody hold it, and you tape it, you know. Yeah, just imagine one long pipe. It's Good. about two inches wide. 
Good times. I think if I did a four foot bung, I might turn into a cat myself. I mean, that's a fucking lot of smoke. Oh, you're done. One hit, you're done. You're, that's it. <laughs> I remember there was one time where we just plopped down a bag. It was and one of my friends and somebody else, and we just smoked weed all night. You're going like to have to beep out the <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, don't worry about it. Okay. FM. <laughs> No, Karen but, I mean, Johnson. <laughs> yeah, Karen. That's all we had, Karen. Um, By the way, it's the third. It's the fiftieth anniversary of Godfather. Oh, is oh, it? Oh, all right. Well, you act like a man. <laughs> In comes Johnny Fontaine with his olive oil voice and his Guinea charm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it made me look ridiculous. <laughs> And a man in my position can't look ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> so you go back there and tell that guinea wop goomba. I'm German Irish. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something, my kraut Mick friend. Yeah. <laughs> and Tom is just sitting there like, yeah, we're gonna, you're gonna do it, and uh, I'm just, there's nothing you can do, you know. <laughs> She's the best piece of ass I ever had. <laughs> Oh, shit. We can go on. But let me ask you another question. Uh, have you had any paranormal experiences? And let me let me start it off by saying, I remember the day you came home from the hospital. Mom and dad parked the car in front of the house, and they were standing against the passenger side of the car, holding you as a baby. And next to them was this gleaming person in white. Shut the fuck up. And I thought it was kind of weird. I was four years old, three and a half, so I didn't really know what to make of it. So I think I saw your angel, dude. I'm not kidding. My guardian angel. Yeah. I saw mm. something standing there, like next to dad, like looking at you and shit. Let's go back to it. Have you had any paranormal experiences? Did you see an angel like I did? Once. What? Okay, so I moved in with Sean on Westcott Street, right? Mm -hmm. Second floor, you walk in. You walk up the stairs and you walk in the door to the left is a hallway and straight and everything else to the right is the front room. Now, the second floor in those style houses, there's only half windows and they're up higher. Yeah. It's like our first night sleep in there. No furniture. We had like a, uh, what you, a blow up mattress and put the mattress underneath those windows. We fall asleep. I wake up. I remember the sunlight beaming down how it was. I look over to the left. Now, Sean had, wasn't in bed. He was in the kitchen. Yeah. And I wake up and there is a blonde headed young man. What? Up against the wall wearing a white, and this is almost 20 years ago. And he had a white t-shirt, that baby seven, that baby blue seventies color, like pants. Jeans. Yeah. Yeah. That baby blue, like that soft color. Yeah. And he's just staring at me. Then I wake up. That yeah. was the wake up dream. You know, you wake up in your dream. Yeah. Yeah. So I wake up. The sunlight is exactly the same as it was when I did the wake up dream. I, I look in the kitchen and there's Sean in there doing exactly what he was. And I look to the left of me and there's no one standing there. Huh. So I actually oh. woke up and then woke up in my dream and woke up again for real. But everything was exactly like it was in the first wake up. But I didn't get a bad feeling from this guy. Didn't feel threatened. Probably so. wanted you just to play with his ghost ass. I know. I mean, <laughs> I really wish he would have. He was cute, but I think it might have been just a like a ghost that was just probably walking through and probably caught a glimpse of me because I was sleeping. He must have just was just chilling there watching. Maybe he thought I was cute. Maybe it was my guardian angel, or it was Wait. one of the members of the Partridge family. Yeah, that's what no, I was thinking. No, way more cuter. He had longer blonde hair. He was way cuter. Was but it I'll never forget that. No, I'll never forget that. Never. And then now, mind you, I put a salt ring around my house. <laughs> No, it's Why? true. Why did you do so, this? Did you have bad juju feeling? No, it's just to keep any bad out. It's okay. just like doing a, a smudge stick. Or right. if you do a red brick dust, you do a line against your door, your 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 entryway, no evil can come through. Okay. Same with a salt ring. Oh, so well. you don't want to be sleeping and fucking some fucking demon comes in your head. You know what I mean? So yeah, I put, I'm not going to lie. I put a salt ring around the house. All right. One last question for you here. Sherry. Tell me something crazy. Ooh. Hmm. I remember from my birthday, my 30th, uh, remember lived across the street? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So him and his girlfriend, Puddin, her name was, but her nickname was Puddin. And uh, she uh, she made me a penis cake with like a pink <laughs> penis cake with huge balls, yeah. hairy balls. And I kept one of the balls in my freezer. It was there for like two, three years. So goes, can I just eat the cake? I'm like, dude, you really don't want to do that. Like, <laughs> it's, it's been unwrapped. A big hairy ball in my fucking 
freezer. <laughs> and funny story about her, she goes, I remember the first time I met you, you came over and you, I asked you if you're hungry because I was cooking and you pulled the hot dog out of your pocket and started eating it. <laughs> <laughs> Because I was so busy back then. I was in a bar seven days a week or I was running. I was working out. I would go to the Y and work out after work. So I was in really good shape. I was dancing all weekend. So you really don't eat that much. So I remember the aunties were cooking like hot dogs or something. And I called it Frodo Baggins style eating. You'd take a piece of like whatever, wrap it in a like paper towel and put it yeah. in there. So Frodo Baggins it. So I... I <laughs> I must have came over and she goes, you want it? No, here, I got a hot dog right here. I'm good. I'm, I'm good. She goes, I'll never forget you with the hot dog out of your pocket. Who the fuck does that? I no. said, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost uh, like Napoleon Dynamite when he put tater tots in his pocket and ate them later in class. Right. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, people eat worse, right? Oh, it's been a long and crazy night. How about we all go get some sleep? FM, you got the couch. I'll get you some extra blankies. All right, boys. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I don't think bed bugs are going to be your worry. I just blew up the biggest medical facility in the city and I got two points. Great job, honey. You're going to be the number one arsonist in the game. Now, it's my role. I just rolled a six and a half. I'm going to have an affair with the boss, so hopefully I can get that raise. <gasps> Go ahead, Clark. It's your roll. But Bonnie, I don't even know what this game is. I don't get it. Yeah, just roll, Dad. I landed on kill the puppy. What the hell does that mean? <laughs> oh, Dad, don't be silly. Give me the dice. I need to roll a 13 so I can land on child trafficking and get the bonus points. It's fun for the whole family. It's a new board game by Maniac Press. Psychopaths, Psychopaths and sycophants. Roll the dice, but be careful because you'll have to pay the price. Shucks, you stabbed me. Educational and wholesome gameplay. Kids, I don't think we should be playing this game. Do you want me to get out chutes and ladders? Drop him. I got swatted while trying to assassinate my summer camp counselor. What in the f***? What kind of f***ing shit is this? For ages two and up. I just landed on Snort Coke off of your landlord's penis. I just got five more points. Great job, Mom. Fast and exciting gameplay. 911? Yes, there's blood everywhere. Psychopaths and sycophants. Another quality home game from the fine folks at Maniac Press. Get them before they get you. Woogie boogie. Woogie woogie boogie boogie. What was that? Woogie boogie boogie boogie. I'm awake now. Whoa, what the? Are you the Grim Reaper? Is it my time? I'm the Boogeyman, and I'm here to torment you and frighten you to death. What the? Are you awake yet? Listen, I think you should open up a disco for people with back injuries. You can call it Slip Disco. Who, who are you? What are you doing in my room? Don't you recognize me? It's me, Coco. Disco Coco? I thought you perished from the giant janky disco ball that fell at the Talentless Show. Am I dreaming? I must be hallucinating. <laughs> Hey, wake up. Is this a strange dream? I wasn't finished. Maybe at the Slip Disco, you can have a mosh pit and call it Cluster Funk. You can also hire the best band in town to play, the Aphrodisiacs. Uh, great idea. Now we just let me go get some sleep. Don't leave me this way. I can't survive. <laughs>
I can't stay alive. Why don't you do the hustle on down to Funky Town or Boogie Wonderland? <laughs> Man, I can't sleep. Did you guys hear that screaming and whistling? What whistling? Screaming? Never mind. Okay, well, what's this bottle? Did you guys bring home something good from the bar? <gasps> Holy fuck. It's Gene Genie. He followed us here. It must follow whomever he curses last. You guys are fucked. He already said that. Thanks for cheering us up. I don't understand what's happening. We have a genie? Like three wishes? Mm, not really. Uh, FM, how would you explain it? Like I said, you guys are fucked. Drink of the day, the Bowery Blackbird. If you want to <laughs> into the night, you'll need a drink to launch you into flight. Start with a zombie glass filled with ice, a shot of black rum, sands the spice. Hey, bartender, two Bowery Blackbirds for me and my friend Gary the Ghoul. Whoa, 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 whoa. I may be a ghoul, but I don't drink this. Why not? You're a ghoul. What does it matter? Well, how do you think I got this way? Add three quarters cherry cola and add a swirl of squid ink to blacken the soul of those who drink. Listen, Gary, why are you being so difficult here? I'm simply trying to buy you a drink. Why not live it up a little? I did. Why do you think I'm dead now? You look fine, but you'll look even better after a double. Hey, bartender, make them doubles. Here's your doubles and here's your IDs back. I think you gave us the wrong ID. This guy looks hotter than Brad Pitt. And now I'm just a ghoul. Add a test tube of creme de cassis, dark and burning like a blood moon. And garnish with a fluorescent gummy worm. No need to wait until daylight. The Bowery Blackbird will have you singing in the dead of night. Ah, ah. Cheers. UH, it's really late. How can I help you? Hey, this is Elmer, the pot farmer. Oh boy, here we go again. Uh, are you related to Peter and Ray Nathan, the pot farmers from seasons one and two? Well, uh, how'd you know? Those are my cousins, goddammit. <laughs> Let me guess, uh, you need an exorcist or a shaman? No, 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 but I I need I need to get a hold of them MUFON people because I'm battling me some aliens. Well, why does this not surprise me? Where are you calling from? What's going on? Well, I'm calling from the white field, New Hampshire. I, I was refilling my bird feeder when I, all of a sudden I saw me a bright light in the sky. And some of those big eyed gray aliens with those pencil necks were in, in my patch of blue diesel buds. I tried to warn them that it was some pretty strong shit, but they didn't listen to me and they waved me on with a hand gesture like, don't worry about it. And then I saw the ship wobbling and spinning out of control. They crashed it right in the neighborhood field in a burst of fiery inferno. Wow. Anything else? Well, there actually is. An object filled with Venetians beamed down into my crop of Mondo breath. They vaporized it and inhaled it deeply. I've never seen such coffin before. Well, the Venusians are supposed to be smoke shows, right? I mean, were any of them hot? Well, they looked like Brad Pitt and another one looked like Margot Robbie. But now they look like the Big Lebowski. They sit around drinking white Russians and just calling me dude. That doesn't sound too bad. Well, it kind of is, because they keep on teleporting all my food out of the fridge. Don't wash the goddamn dishes and the shit building up all around the sink. Well, why don't you just tell them to leave? Well, I did, and they keep on saying, well, you know, it's just our opinion, man. Dude, we can't worry about that shit. Life goes on, you know what I mean? And, and don't even get me started on the giant Anunnaki's that came down from the sky and landed in my field, the Purple Urkel. I went out with my shotgun and tried to scare them off, but they laughed at me and took my gun away and repurposed it as a goddamn giant bong. Now I know what shotgunning really means. <laughs> well, what are you going to do about it? Well, I was thinking. Yep, 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 uh -huh. yep, uh -huh. yep, oh yeah, yep, 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 yep. Hey, uh, careful, man, there's, there's beverages here, dude.
All right, everyone. It's sleeper time. Yeah, I'm exhausted. I've been having strange dreams. I am too, but but you know what? We got a show to do, so we got to get some sleep. Night FM. Night FM. Watch out for the giant rats. What? Just kidding. See you in the morning. What the? <laughs> Shut up. What in the ever-loving fuck is going on? Are you talking about the whistling, the screaming, or the marching band? The marching band? Oh, God. Go ahead, FM. You're, you're the guest. Take care of this shit, would you? I don't understand. You're the only apartment on the 13th floor. Why the hell would there be a marching band playing in the middle of the night? Be thankful it isn't the Harry Krishnas like last year. Where's the leader of the band? I'm here. Sorry. Did you have a question? You! Come closer. What's your name, kid? I'm Lewis, the band leader. Okay, Lewis, the band leader. Let me ask you, are we at an SU game? I, I, I know you're upset, but I think I have something to calm you all down. Oi! Oh, oh, sorry, what, what was that? Hey, you fuckheads. If you don't stop playing that fucking music, I'm gonna shove that bassoon so far up your motherfucking hole, you're gonna spit out whistling Dixie and fucking cum notes out your fucking face, you fuck. You know what I have to say about that? I can't hear you. Sorry, guys. There's nothing I can do. What kind of brother are you? grocery store. Are you ready to try a new cereal? Yeah! Yeah! From UH Mills, it's Savage Fruity Crunch. It's super nutritious and even has a toy inside. What's it taste like? Let's find out. more crunch? The milk is glowing and it tastes like cardboard with sugar. It's amazing! I want the prize! No way! It's all mine! (laughs) Now you two don't fight over the prize. I have another box. Here, sweetie. Oh, wow! I got a switchblade as big as Rambo's knife. Neato! That looks fun! What did you get, Brandon? Rad! I got a package of scratch and sniff stickers! I want that! Let's trade! Okay! This switchblade is wicked! It even comes with a book of wooden matches, a birthday cake candle, a syringe, a little metal spoon, and a small rubber tourniquet! Haha! <laughs> what more do you need? My stickers smell tubular! Really? What do they smell like? This one smells like burnt hair! Cool! Sniff another one! This one smells like belly button lint with notes of toe jam and infection. Hey, let me try. Okay. This one smells like gasoline with notes of model glue and lead paint. I feel dizzy. Oh, you crazy kids. I guess there really is a surprise in every box. Eat up, Jenny. There's 2% of your daily vitamins and minerals. It's part of a complete breakfast. They're totally bodacious! I haven't really slept at all, and even this quadruple espresso isn't helping me. I know, I'm exhausted. For some reason, I have disco music stuck in my head. Me too. Was there uh, was there a song called Woogie Boogie? What the hell are you guys talking about? I don't even know how you's got any sleep with the screaming and the whistling. What the hell are you talking about? I think you're a few fries short of a Happy Meal. Don't worry about it, Beck. He's a few cocks short of an orgy. Well, well, if it isn't Mark, how you doing, my old pal? Mark! Do you remember (laughs) what happened last night? (laughs) Oh, you don't remember what happened last night. That's right, yeah. I had to pay the bill, yeah. 
No, it wasn't at Gussie's. It was at Shifty. So thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, you can go along now. I'll see you later, fuckface. Just kidding. Love you. Bye. Bye, Mark. All right. Uh, we got a little something for you, uh, FM, if you'd like to uh, go ahead and start digging in. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Lord, please let me not walk away with any mental trauma from the box gifted from the demented minds of the maniacs. In nome oh. patre, e fidi, e spiritu san. <laughs> Bismillah. <laughs> yeah. So there should be about six in there, maybe five or six. That's okay. About 20 trees just died for the packing envelopes. <laughs> yeah. And they look like a fucking killer wrapped them. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That's Jay Maniac. His name's yeah. written all over that. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm opening up some. Uh, just believe in your dreams. It's a rainbow. <laughs> it's a rainbow, a uh, flip pad. Like no pad. Yeah, with a uh, reflective cloud. Oh, it's got a mirror mm. cloud on it? Yeah. It's, it's like a, a shiny, it, you know? shiny silver thing. Because uh, I'm one of those homosexuals. <laughs> homosexuals. <laughs> mm. uh. mm. All right. I'm opening up another one. Let's see here. <laughs> what are you fucking moron? Why are you sending me like a girly eye, evil eye protective bracelet? All right. <laughs> well, you know, just uh, just uh, so you all the spirits are uh, a little bit scared of you. It's a you case they break time. through the salt ring, then you can. Yeah. About four years ago, somebody left an evil eye bracelet, and I've kept it on my uh, gear shift. Oh, so I'll put that one around it to go with it. Okay. And two evil eyes are better than one. <laughs> that, That's uh, right. Yeah. With you bastards around, of course. Oh, yay, a Kinder Joy egg. Yeah, why don't you see what the prize is? Yeah, let's open it up, even though the uh, that cream shit is nothing but fucking sugar. Right. Mm. It's supposed to be um, space toys now, but it, I got it at the bodega, and it's probably 30 years old, so I don't the know. The most what's... overpriced sugar package thing ever. Yeah. It is a, uh, a leopard. It's a leopard? A leopard roaring. Wow. Oh, okay. It's not very spacey, man. <laughs> kind of no. looks like the... Killer Kitty when she ate the rat's head off the other day or a couple of weeks ago. Mm. Yeah, there's a cat that uh, showed up about two years ago, and I call her Scrubs because she looked like a fucking scrub. And uh, she hasn't left. Aww. And now she's become my friend, and uh, I pull up from work the other night at like two in the morning. I see her out in like the back. Of Why don't you cat. fucking let her in, man? She is. She's uh, sleeping right on my fucking chair. Aww. Okay. She's, she gets she brings this like medium sized rat <laughs> to the back porch oh. and she's fucking flinging it up against the wall, wow. flinging it up against the door and you hear every time she fucking <laughs> flings it because it's so meaty. <laughs> then she fucking throws it and it goes into like a flower plant pot and I'm like, will you get that out of there? And she finally gets it out of there with her massive claws. And she fucking sets it on the dinner plate, which is my back door, Matt. And she starts She's... eating the head. Oh, headless. wow. Eyes, bones, teeth and all. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is Detention Lounge, Joe? <laughs> I don't know. that. We went to uh, Goodwill to get some DVDs and stuff. And um, that one was wrapped. And I went, what's this wrapped one? And then I, I saw it and was Volume like. Volume 2, Shocking. Why does Otto and George have Boca and Jim Florentine at gunpoint? <laughs> oh, Jim Florentine's a, a comic, so I don't know if it's made mm. by comics. It looks kind of like the same quality of the movie I did back. Uh, oh, the, uh, 2008. Okay. You know, it looks like that right. quality. Oh, nice. Not that. Okay. Nice home. Nice and indie. Thank yeah. God I still got a VHS uh, DVD combo, eh? Mm hmm. Let's see, yeah. <laughs> what the... Why don't you describe what it is? It's it's a half smoked Newport. <laughs> yeah, you never know. <laughs> I haven't touched a Newport in like nice since nineteen ninety five, man. Yeah, I, I, you know, mm. I get Lucy's when I go out, and I, I had one in the box, and I figured he might need one. Smells a little fresh. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's not that old. A fresh half smoked uh, cigarette. One hundreds. Mm -hmm. Looks like it got a little wet. Oh, I don't and, know. Um. Yeah, nothing like shards of glass to cool your lungs. All right. Hey, mint flavor. Yeah, shard glass flavor. All right. Do you, do you smoke or vape? Uh, I, 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 I took it up recently, smoking uh -huh. again. I smoke uh, American Spirits. That's what I sometimes smoke. 
Yeah, and I bought a bunch of vapes, but uh, a little I hesitant no... there, Beck, because <laughs> I'm I haven't With had it in, in like three no. days. I'm yeah, so I've been doing good. And uh, a uh, Grand Havana room. Uh, let's see, four sticks. Oh yeah, I, I was uh, having a, a cigarette outside the club at <laughs> Beverly Hills, New York. Yeah, it's and, a little uh, bi- on the it's ledge. Little... It's a it's a little bar on the ledge, so somebody's uh, handprints are all over this. Oh yeah, yeah, great. Um, hey, what what is this? What is it? It is a box of matches. Oh, with four with matches, four in of it. them in it. So light up uh, my half smoked cigarette. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> all right. Well, I I do appreciate that. There's no body parts, no clippings, no hairs, no fluids. You got off yeah. easy. You really did. <laughs> I warned him. Well, your warning wouldn't have mattered if I really felt like it. But you know, if you if oh. you were a recurring character, it'd be different. If you were oh, a recurring yeah. like guest, we tend to get more evil with somebody who's been crazier. on before. Yeah. Oh, don't want to mess with a Corleone now, do you? <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, oofa. No, 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 no. Remember, payback's a bitch. Well, when you're when you're knocked out snoring at night, when we go back to visit home sometime, that's when I'll strike. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll plug up your fucking nose. Just so you make go. it quick, please. So you go, and then I'll go, and then I'll let go, so he can go back to snoring again. <laughs> <laughs> well thank you for my gifts i greatly appreciate it you took it easy on me maniacs oh yeah i sent a little something for him to open okay i got a bad present here it's an it's just a flat fucking envelope so i'm a little curious of what this is mm-hmm. what if it's your death certificate yeah and she's really the grim reaper and i died <laughs> is there anything in here there oh, better okay. be okay it's a, a garbage pail kid and <laughs> let me see what it says here Superior gene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, bravo. It's like a, there's a bunch of like test tube things going into a giant vat with a disgusting baby in it. Right. Superior genetics. Superior gene. Superior gene. So yeah, I'll put this right next to uh, London brawling. Yeah. And uh, the other one is uh, Mo Sapien. So yep, where the fuck the collection. Where are you finding all these strange fucking things? These garbage pail kids. Fortieth anniversary eBay man, eBay. All right, they're collectors though, so don't get rid of them. Well, happy oh. bad present. Introducing Hasbro's Ouija. Is that the one where you talk to ghosts? It's actually pretty fun. Is there a spirit here? Oh my god. There are only three simple rules: never play alone. Spirit, can you hear me? Never play in a graveyard. We played in a graveyard. And always say goodbye. Good night, Romeo. With Ouija, you'll make new friends. Hi, friend. Connect with the other soul. Experience the unknown. And with a little practice. Look, Mom, no hands. You'll be an expert in no time. It's fun for the whole family. (laughs) When's the best time to play Ouija? Always. That tickled. Hasbro's Ouija. We have a new game here called Bad What If Game. So, little brother, we're going to present you with some uh, scenarios, and I want you to know how you would deal with them, okay? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. This is going to be fun. (laughs) Okay, here we go. My first one for you is, what if a Sasquatch came into your house, right? And he's Mm. holding his stomach, and he's, like, looking around. And then he he finds your uh, bathroom, takes a massive dump in your toilet, and the toilet explodes, and water shooting everywhere. What would you do about it? First, I'd kick him in his Sasquatch nuts. While uh, he was on the toilet? No, after. Okay. Because who the fuck wants to go in there? There'd probably be no room. Right. So, And then I'd, I don't know, man, I'd probably shoot him. Shoot him? Gun. <laughs> what? <laughs> And make a rug out of them. <laughs> hey, winter's coming, man. That's a lot of good fur. Yeah. Wow, ooh, right. ooh, ooh. I would clone his penis before he died. You know, like get that penis cloning kit. Yeah. And then sell it on eBay for all the um, bestiality fucks out there. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. It might explode some people, though. You know? Hey, there's ones out there. There's unicorn ones and werewolf ones and all these other monster creature dildos. There's out. werewolf ones? Yeah, look it up online, dude. There's Whoa. like unicorn <laughs> ones and yeah, there's all different monster ones out there Holy you can get. Holy shit, you learn something new every day. I know. <laughs> They're oddly shaped. 
too. I have a question for you next here. What if the Candyman, with his hook and all, he rang up an enormous bill using your Oculus to watch daddy porn? What would yeah, you do? Yeah, and he's spraying his erectoplasm all over your living room. It shot with such force that it went through your television, destroying your television, and, he, and it kept going, and he sprayed all your videos, and they all collapsed. What are you going to do? And he said, what are you going to fucking do about it, huh? So let me get this straight. He came through my Oculus? No, he appeared. Oh. He rang up an enormous bill using your Oculus to watch daddy porn. <laughs> There's no more room in my Oculus for porn, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. That the, the great, Oculus great thing, technology. Oh yeah, dude. You you do like the blowjob scene? It's great. It's like they're wow. actually there. It's crazy. So there wouldn't be any room. And if he sprayed all over, I'd probably clean it up and then sell it again on eBay. <laughs> oh my God. But he's standing there going, what are, you, what are you fucking looking at? Yeah, I'm going to spray everything. What are you going to do? Well, it depends how big it is, but he could spray me too. I mean, <laughs> well, might as well get into the fun. We'll, we'll figure something out for that. Just be gentle. <laughs> All right. You're, you're handling this a lot better than I would, man. It's totally. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Here's another one. What if you went back home to Syracuse, you got all your Gianelli sausages, homemade sauce, limoncello, and you're driving home, and then there's a critter in the back from the movie Critters. He's, he appears in your back seat, and he oh. starts he starts eating all of it, and then he says, The sauce ain't bad, and this is some of the best sausage I've ever had. Uh, I'd like to give you some limoncello, but it's all gone, and I'm going to finish my meal now, and you're just going to keep driving. Is that okay? Okay. I would take the mace that I have in my car and spray them. Yeah. Then I would take... What if he started going... Ow, 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 and he was eating it. Like That's great. fine. Then I'd grab my stun gun. That's right next to that. Because I do have a stun gun in my car. Stun knuckles. And then uh, if that didn't work, I'd take my very sharp knife and start stabbing him in the fucking eye. Yeah. <laughs> Saying, you motherfucker, you steal my sauce. This is now I got to fucking drive back and go get more limoncello, bitch. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> I cut them into pieces and leave a leave a piece in each state. Yeah, yeah. Just so maybe if his friends want to follow me, they'll see a trail of his buddy in each state. And go, maybe we shouldn't go any further. You can mm -hmm. tell the genetics run deep here because your brother was doing about the same to an alien that takes his pizza. So Yeah, it's just like when you kill a fly or a cockroach in your house. You leave one there so his friends know not to come around. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What if you meet the love of your life on Grinder, but twice <laughs> a month he turns into a werewolf while wearing your favorite clothes so they shred when he turns? And then all of your wardrobe is eventually ripped up. Your whole place smells like dirty, wet dog. He uses your car to chase down all his victims because he's lazy and he keeps using up all the gas and he gets a ton of parking fines. How would you handle that situation? Sounds like my first ex. <laughs> <laughs> Minus the werewolf and sex part. <laughs> I would date him. Who the fuck would date somebody like that? You have no clothes. Your fucking car is destroyed. <laughs> you have a million dollars in fines. But he's Ooh. the love of your life. There ain't no fucking love worth that. <laughs> oh, hell no. Get the fuck out of here. I'm good by myself, man. I don't need that type of love. No, thank you. Mm. He handled these very well. He really did. Well, he went straight to murder in most of them. Whereas yeah. I liked, I wanted to WrestleMania the alien a little bit before. I, I... don't play around, man. You just <laughs> ate all my shit. You're fucking dead. No playing around. And if you smirk at me, that's even worse. I'm a cool, chill dude until you fucking provoke the bear. Like that's, You know who uh, you want to hunker down with in the apocalypse? It's my mother and and FM. <laughs> yeah. Because my mother was shooting aliens over Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got the guns. <laughs> yeah, I got, I'm buying another one next year, too. So I'll buy one a year. Wow. Mm -hmm. He's got Arsenal. a... He, he sent His me John a... John Wick cabinet yeah, over there. He has the John Wick cabinet, yeah. <laughs> John Wick is like, my next assignment is FM. Oh, oh, wait, uh, can somebody else take that one? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'd, I'd probably be like, dude, can we do it be first before you kill me? Like, you got some moves oh. there, son. <laughs> you twist up fucking Keanu? Uh, he could twi twist up each other, make it fair, right? Ooh. I mean, Keanu's cute, but I don't like his legs. He has legs. <laughs> what? They get, they're spinning? Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, he's kind of like they're. I like hairy legs, you know, from the knee down, and he, he's he's kind of cankleish, like on the verge. Oh, yeah, but he's almost what fifty years old, right? No, he's almost sixty. Sixty. He's fifty-eight or something. 57. Jesus yeah. fucking Christ! He looks really good. <laughs> he does. Well, you'd look good if you never worked a day in your life besides Hollywood <laughs> since nineteen eighty. <1980. laughs> exactly. Very true. <laughs>
And now, an impromptu drug tips from the experts, from my little brother. What's the rule, Jay, when we party? Uh, there's a couple rules, I think, right? Just Go ahead, tell her. I don't, What's a couple rules? I don't remember, really. Just, I don't know, you tell me. That's remember, early. if you OD, we're going to drop you off at the hospital, uh, but it's going to be like a couple hundred feet from the entrance. Yeah. We'll make sure you get there, but then we're going to just kick you out of the car and run. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, so we can, because you don't want to go to jail, right? You don't want to be committed for murder because you're sitting there doing drugs. So you're a responsible and adult. You know what you're getting into. There's a possibility that you might OD. So, you know, if, if that happens, we'll bring you and uh, you'll be okay. And the party will go on even if you pass on. So. Any other tips? <laughs> uh, yeah. You have to. If the heart's still beating, there's always time for another sniff okay. or a pill pop. <laughs> yeah, if the heart's still beating. And then if you call in, what do we say, Jay? You remember? No, I don't remember. Fuck oh, yeah. you. <laughs> Here, I'll be the uh I'll be the guy, okay? Is it who is this? Yeah, I'm calling into work. I don't feel so good. Wait, you just fucking started a week ago. What are you doing? What uh, I really don't feel good, dude. The place will last without me. I'll come in tomorrow. I well, we're fucking swapped over here. I'm trying to make burgers of myself. I don't know what to tell you. I can't make it. I'm puking. I feel like shit. I can barely stand. You're coming in. There's nothing you can do about it. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 we had drug tips for everyone now we have od tips for yeah, everyone. yeah we're, we're, we're expanding our fucking drug tips for the experts what's fucked up it's umbrella holic uh what do you want hi it's disastra i'm calling from the pipes what do you mean the pipes how does one get in the pipes unless you're bishop from aliens don't don't worry about it. We have other things to be concerned about. We've got enough paranormal shit to worry about. What now? Haven't you noticed strange whistling? What do you mean, like... <whistles> or do you mean something like... <whistles> or something like... <whistles> like that? Like something like that? Like that? Tunnel Pfeiffer. What the fuck's a Tunnel Pfeiffer? What does it look like? He looks like the dude who played Roach from the people under the stairs mixed with a possum. Oh shit, man. That's a bit gnarly. With big eyes, it stares at you, screams, and whistles. Well, that doesn't sound too bad. We'll have Snaker take care of it. Take the left pipe down to him and get a hold of him. Everything will be fine. I'm divorcing you. You're fired. We've got enough problems. Bye. Bye. Guys, I gotta go nap. I'm dying. All right, let's do an hour power. I'm just gonna watch some tube. It's Harrowing! The question is, how many victims did the Zodiac Killer have? It's Hazardous! The right answer gets you dollars, the double dog dare gets you double, and the triple dog dare gets you the physical challenge. Oh, we'll take the triple dog challenge. Okay, blue team, your triple dog challenge is you must hurl small throwing axes at all five balloons pinned around your teammate while on the spinning wheel of leisure. It's hilarious! Slide the body over that way and use his head to boost you and disable the bomb. <laughs> For triple dog points, the question is, how many kids die each year from choking on lollipops? Is it A, 17, B, 57, or C, 112? It's triple dog dare, yeah! Your triple dog dare is going to be make your way through the landmine playground in under 30 seconds. Hurry, hurry, leave the arm, keep going. It's Triple Dog Dare, more fun than a root canal. Weekdays on Channel 13 at 13 o'clock.
boogie woogie boogie boogie woogie. Oh, Jesus. Don't don't start that shit again. What do you want? Ah, uh, Jay, what don't I want? Feels like the whole world is falling in on me. Sure. Can we, uh, can it wait until tomorrow? Come on, I got student debt, I failed out of boogie school, and I can't scare anyone anymore. I'm a pariah. Some would say I'm deficient or defective, being the youngest in the boogie family. Well, what's, what's going on? Don't you have a hobby or something? Does, does anything make you happy? I got my sax. All right, let's hear it. <laughs> Eh, not bad, dude, but not quite Tim Capello. I'm trying to be as good as Rob Lowe in St. Elmo's Fire, but maybe I just haven't found my Wendy Beamish yet. Look, we'll deal with this when I get up. I'm too tired to deal with this now. Why don't you just play me a lullaby? You know what, man? Thanks for listening. You got it. Beck Maniac, wake up! Oh no, not again. Are you a figment of my exhausted imagination? Maybe. Hey, what do you get when you throw a flashbang in a room of epileptic kids? What? A silent disco. Oh man, you really are damaged. Well, I can't go to the disco. I got nobody to go with here in the afterlife. I guess that's true. And someone threw all my 70s records in a fire. It was a real disco inferno. Well, I lost my ABBA CDs. Uh, Where'd the disco? I can sing you to sleep. There was something in the air that night. The stars were bright, Fernando. And they were shining there for you and me. For liberty, Fernando. We may be sleep deprived and vitamin deficient, but we can cure all that with a cheers, everybody. Grab your drink. <sighs> Nostrovia. Salanja. Uh, <sighs> chin chin. Holy shit. Guys, look at the mirror. There's writing all over it. Go ahead, little brother. Submit yourself to the mirror ghost. Hi, maniacs. I'm Les Gogo, ghost of 1313. 13, your apartment. I was a former tenant in the 1850s, you know, gangs of New York times. Anyway, what I meant to say is, my grandfather originally came over on the boat and had a fruit cot. I woke up every day at 6 a.m. and put my left sock on first, then my right one. I was thinking of moving out west at some point to stop mining for gold. You know, panhandling. But then came the... All right! (sighs) Hurry up already! Okay, maniacs, let's play a little. This or that or the other thing. That's an interesting take on our game. Go ahead, let's go, go. (laughs) Number one, live rent-free in the conjuring house. Number two, Reagan from The Exorcist, is your roommate, and you have to live with her, but she pays rent. Three, or live with relentless pests such as hissing cockroaches, spiders, rats, bedbugs, etc. But you get $5,000 deposited directly into your bank account from Anonymous. Okay, so let's let the guest go first. Uh, Of course. FM, what would you pick out of those three? Mm, That 5K is very... That's, yeah, I'd probably pick that one. The 5K? Yeah, because wow. then all you do is you just sleep with a fucking bottle of, like, cockroach killer all over. <laughs> like, raid in his hand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> put, a, put on one of those fucking masks with the containers on each side. Mm-hmm. Get a glass yeah. cube to put over your bed with holes in it. So they Yeah, don't... see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, but you get five grand. Oh, I mean, oh, no. think of it. You get 60 grand in 12 months. You could be out of there. That's a down payment for a house. Huh. Um, what about you, Beck? What are you doing? Um, fuck that. I'm not doing the, the bug nets and raid and bug bombs. 
Uh, and I'm definitely, I don't think I want to live rent free. I'm going to go with Regan from the exorcist because <laughs> she pays rent and I can tie her down. I can just be like, you know, we got to take care of this. I'm coughing you up. You're, you're just going to levitate and shit. I'll have a priest come in and out once in a while. You know, they're free. I don't have to pay the priest. Yeah, so. but what if you wake up and you hear, fuck my pussy, and she's right, her like, her like green goblin fucking green slimy pussy is right in your face. Oh. I mean, sniff some oh, yeah. poppers what, and go for it. What if she wants to bang you back? No. <laughs> you got, you gotta bang no. her out. I'm shackling her up. There's no way. There is no way. She's You fucking me. bang me out or I'm gonna puke <laughs> on you. <laughs> Sit on my face. <laughs> 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 she'll be watching tv going <laughs> <laughs> that is kind of horrifying but it, i it's i can't handle the bugs and i i don't know the conjuring house is just there's too much going on in there at least she is contained into one <laughs> what if she pukes on you every day after you get out of the shower as oh, soon right. as you get out of the shower and she goes, <laughs> and oh, she goes sorry about that <laughs> <laughs> i just can't help myself i'm possessed what do you want me to do okay but that, that's uh, really hellacious now it's making me want to go to the conjuring house but that's scary <laughs> so i don't know yeah no i'm staying with it you go ahead jay <laughs> uh yeah the conjuring house is way too crazy man you wouldn't even be able to fucking chill like at least no. with reagan you can lock the door and just tell her to fuck off right uh she pays rent though that's you know that's a lot man um the 5k thing bugs and shit are just so creepy to me I think uh, I'm just going to have to chill on the couch with Reagan and go hit start on the fucking controller already. Okay, ah, so you're ah, Reagan with Reagan too. <laughs> yeah. And I'll yeah, go see ah, 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 yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Why you got to talk to me like that? <laughs> you're leaking all over the fucking. Cu Can you just take a shower once in a while? <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> Yeah. And once in a while, she is normal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Once in a while, she's like, Mama, you know, and then right. ah. <laughs> I take her ah and make it like a techno song out of it. You know, there you go. Yeah. But what if your parents are dead and you hear Papita? Come here, oh, Papita. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's it is horrifying. I can't handle the bugs. That's I can't, can't handle you the have bugs. Cats. You have cats. My cats don't do fucking shit. They, they well, fuck, do fuck all is what they do. <laughs> That's because you got beautiful little kittens and you turned them into Jabba the Hutt. That's fucking right. Well, one of them was returned and Bex was returned too. So, <laughs> so well. thanks, Les Go Go, for being a fan and asking us such a great question. Yeah, yeah thank you thanks, so much. Les Go Go. And Les Go Go, I got something to say to you. Ah! Now it all makes sense. Why are we hearing the knocking and the EVPs and we're editing the show? Beck, do you have some voices on tape? Yeah, I got some I can play. Really? One. The first EVP is with our voice actor, Floyd. If you listen really close, you're going to hear a man's voice saying, but up, bum, bum, underneath him. This looks like this shouldn't be for any... This looks like this shouldn't be for any... Two. Next is a strange moan coming behind Jay Maniac. Let me... Let me... I'm going to pull up... Let me... Let me... I'm going to pull up... Three. Three is a quick grunt underlay. So... So... Four. And finally, four is very light but rapid rapping behind Jay and myself as we write. Those banging sounds were neither of us. <laughs> <laughs> it's mud slinging. Yeah, mud slinging, mud wrestling Thursdays. Oh, I like that. Thursdays, where you get to see. Now, what's some kind of weird thing we can throw in there? <laughs> it's mud slinging yeah mud slinging mud wrestling thursdays oh i like that thursdays where you get to see now what's some kind of weird thing we can throw in there
Please tell me you guys heard that. I did. See, you are fucked up. You're haunted like me. Is that why I've been seeing the boogeyman? What? I heard it this time too, and I've been talking with Disco Coco. But she's dead, Beck. She got crushed under our janky disco ball. Yeah, that's right. I think she's lonely. She keeps talking and she won't let me sleep. What are we going to do? Disco Coco? Boogeyman? Sounds like you should hook them up. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Boogeyman, these are the maniacs, and Disco Coco. Funky, out of sight. I get you guys a Rheingold, but uh, it might just go right through you. You know what? I could use one right now. Here you go, brah. Ah, that was refreshing and dry. And it's a dry beer. Only the best for our specters. Listen, you two crazy phantoms. You know you're roaming the building alone and... We think you should go out for a haunt together. I've been looking for my boogie, man. Does does that mean you would escape to the shadows with me? Mm-hmm. You could be the incubus to my succubus. Well then, let's woogie boogie woogie boogie out of here. Thanks, maniacs. That worked out great. What the hell are you maniacs doing with all my employees? You know I don't have any other spooks on call. Some are on vacation, the rest are haunting other people. You can't buck the system like this. Well, we needed to get some sleep somehow. Listen, Gene Genie, that's your problem. Gene Genie, this isn't my curse anymore, right? They touched the bottle last. No, you're fine. Unless you want more, you denied you. No, I'm fine. Now, you two maniacs, because of your fuckery, I may have to unleash the most powerful, mighty, strong, dominant, extreme, most forceful and dastardly, biggerest, tyrannical curse that is feared throughout the land. The Three-Finger Death Curse. Got it? What does that even mean? It means you'll be fantastically fucked. Hold on. Let's let's work this out. What do we what do we gotta do? Look, maniacs. I don't need this coming back on me. My reputation, my business. I don't need my boss stringing me up by my balls. Here's the bottom line: You twos are gonna say the six magic words at the end of every show until the end of eternity. I'm sure it's better than the three finger death curse, whatever that is. But what do we have to say? Mecha lecha hi, mecha hiney ho. That's all we have to do? Mecha, like, uh, yeah, you know, we'll see it at the end of our show, starting with this one. Is that cool? Done. I better not run into you again. You help me out if you pass the bottle along, okay? <laughs> oh, thank God. Now we can actually get our beauty sleep. If I were you guys, I'd get rid of that bottle ASA motherfucking P. Well, Beck, um, who can we curse? I know just the person. You've reached the front desk. How can I help you? Vivrot. Oh, no. Listen, we've been a bunch of lousy bastards to you, and I have a little something for you. Call it a Christmas bonus. But it's not Christmas. Well, and then let's just say it's a birthday gift. My birthday is until next year. Okay, let's just call it an early Kwanzaa gift. I don't know what kind of games you're playing, but I'm not accepting any sort of gift from you, because the last time you gave me something, I feel like you tried to kill me. I don't know if it was Arsenic, because I did recently watch Arsenic and Old Lace. I don't need to be, what do they call it in the movie, snuffed out. I don't need any of your bullshit, all right? I don't want to die off of your hands. Trust me, you're going to love it. You'll thank us later. I'll have FM drop it at the front desk for you on his way out. All right, but if there's anything, I swear to you, I swear to you on my mother and my cousin's sister's grave, Beck, I will come after you. Look, all I have to say is mecha lecha hi, mecha hiney ho. Umbrellaholics, we are. And that, my haunted friends across the world listening to us, was our show. Thanks for listening. I want to say thanks to my little brother. You're very, very welcome, you boys. If you want to get a hold of us, you can send us uh, an email or a question, umbrellaholics at gmail.com. You can catch us on all the major platforms. Yeah, that's it. And until next time. Mecca 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 Umbrella Holics, keeping you company. Umbrella Holics, right where you want to be. Umbrella Holics, thanks for listening to season three.